Welcome to our channel where we convey the developments in the world. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Queen Elizabeth II, the longest-serving monarch in the United Kingdom, died in Balmoral at the age of 96, having reigned for 70 years. Her family reunited at her Scottish estate after her health concerns grew early Thursday. The Queen ascended the throne in 1952 and witnessed a huge social change. With her death, her eldest son Charles, the former Prince of Wales, will lead the country in mourning as the new King and Head of State for 14 Commonwealth Kingdoms. In a statement, Her Majesty the King declared, The death of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a time of great pain for me and for all the members of my family. We deeply mourn the passing of a cherished sovereign and a beloved mother. I know their loss will be deeply felt across the country, among the wealthy and across the Commonwealth, and by countless people across the world. He said that during the time of grief and change, he and his family had been comforted and strengthened by our knowledge of the respect and deep affection in which the Queen was so showered. A statement from Buckingham Palace said, The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and Queen Consort will stay at Balmoral tonight and return to London tomorrow. All of the Queen's children traveled to Balmoral, near Aberdeen, after doctors placed the Queen under medical supervision. Her grandson, Prince William, is also traveling with his brother, Prince Harry. Prime Minister Liz Truss, who was appointed by the Queen on Tuesday, said the monarch gave us the stability and strength we needed.